service members from military installations in and around the nation's capital took to FedEx Field November 12th. As to be able to do this, I think it's fantastic and it needs, I, I would like to do it a little bit more. Morris is referencing the military's part in the nationally televised Washington Redskins Salute to Service game. Energy is really positive, real high energy, you just hear the crowd roaring. Part of a month-long collaboration with the USO of Metropolitan Washington, Baltimore. That's evolved into a National Football League tradition to honor active duty military members and veterans. Two members of the D.C. Air National Guard practiced alongside 105 other service members, unveiling a field-length American flag hours before game kickoff. I was anxious to get here. I did not want to be late. And by 12.54 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Kerry and others were exiting a tunnel onto FedEx Field to a hyped crowd that for a moment was less fixated on game day rivalry and more focused on patriotism and solidarity. The flag was unveiled during the national anthem while four UH-1 in Hueys from Joint Base Andrews 1st Helicopter Squadron conducted a flyover. We're clapping and cheering and chanting USA. It was it was really, really phenomenal and a great show of patriotism. I feel proud, you know, one, to be a veteran and uh, to really feel appreciated. Reporting on assignment in Landover, Maryland, I'm Technical Sergeant Arthur Mondale Wright, D.C. Air National Guard.